What is good everyone, Yamidate here, welcome back to the channel, today for episode 2 of Overwatch Changes Necessary or Unnecessary. The series where I share ideas about changes that I believe could be done to characters in Overwatch to improve either their peak rate, their win rate or just their overall way they are played. And then you guys go on the comments and tell me if you agree or not, if you think it's stupid, if you think the character is perfect, if you think the character needs changes, but not the ones I'm sharing in this video. Because that's what's important in the end, is that I share my opinions, but then I cause discussion between me and you guys about whatever it is I'm talking about. Last week's episode was about Torbjorn and the changes I believe should be made to make him a better character in Overwatch. Click in here if you want to see that video now. And today's episode is about one of the most divisive characters in the entire game that by looking at it, I believe some changes should be made to make it more accepted within the community. And the character that I'm talking about is... Systems at the ready, small mammal at the controls. That's right, I'm talking about Eamon. I know Eamon has just been around for two months, I believe, for some weeks, I guess two months. And maybe some changes to him could feel a little weird because it's so soon, but changes to a character to improve that same character are never too weird or too late. They come when they come and they make the character better. I don't care if the character just got released or is with the game from the beginning. I believe this character needs changes right now because I don't think the character is having the impact in the community, in the meta and in the gameplay that the Overwatch team believed it was going to have. What I think could be changed is some abilities to change the way that the character is played to increase his pick rate and win rate that right now are really really low, at least compared to other characters. So about his left click ability, you know his normal cannons that he has on his side, I believe they are good as they are, I wouldn't really change this ability, it's perfect as it is, just decrease a little bit of the spread damage, because anyone who has played Eamon realizes that the cannons aren't as powerful as they look, I mean just look at these cannons, they are huge, four cannons that are shooting at someone and they are losing so little health as they are being shot, and that's not because the characters are so weak, it's because the spread damage is so high, I believe if you decrease the spread damage and have the damage focus on the point that Eamon is shooting at, the damage that would inflict upon the enemies would be higher and people will be more scared to face Eamon 1 on 1, because let's face it, right now there are lots of characters that aren't afraid to face Eamon 1 on 1, like Reynard or Brigitte or any character that has some sort of shields or as I held can easily survive Eamon. Now about his right click ability, the rope ability. Okay, so this is basically the old point of Eamon. He goes into his stupid wall and he goes around with the rope, slinging himself or defending a point or throwing people off points or throwing people off maps or whatever. What I believe should be done in this ability is that he's super buggy. I mean, it keeps locking the hook in places where you don't want it to go. It keeps locking the hook in distances you don't really want it to go. And above all, it's super inconsistent about which surfaces it can actually hook itself to. Sometimes it can hook itself to a pole, sometimes it can't. Sometimes it can hook itself to a wall, other times it can't. I don't understand how can I use this hook properly if I don't know the physics of it. So what Blizzard should do with this ability is besides fixing all the bugs, where it just gets stuck on walls, where it just disappears, I believe it should be a more precise thing of, okay, you can use this hook in very specific areas. And when I say specific, it's not let's decrease the amount of surfaces where the hook can be hooked, it's have it be more precise. You can hook yourself to anything, that's fine. As long as it follows some reasoning of, okay, when it's hooked to a wall, it behaves like this. When it's hooked to a pole, it behaves like this because it keeps being erratic and super buggy, so fix the bugs, because that's what the character needs right now, it's too chaotic with the hook. On this shift ability, or as everyone knows it, is rolling all ability, okay there's not much you can change in here, I mean it gets in a ball and it rolls around super fast, I believe it's fine as it is, what I will change here is that the control option, when you go up with Eamon and you're in ball form, you can just press control and come down and try to smash your enemies, but just like the hook that I was speaking before, this is also true erratic, you don't know the amount of damage you're going to do because there's no physics to it, there's no rules to it. So what I think should be changed to make it more precise and more accurate at least, when you go up, every time you're allowed to use the control option to smash enemies down, you should have some sort of radius designed around you where you know where your impact is going to do more damage and when your impact is going to do less damage because 
like you can see, they fixed this on a really recent bug. Before, when you bash someone from the sky, everyone would take the same amount of damage. And that's wrong. Right now, it's correct, because when you smash, the people that are closer to you get more damage, and whoever's farther away gets lesser damage. Just like Doomfist's Hold. And just like Doomfist's Hold, I believe we're up in the sky, and you can use control, just like I said. You should have some sort of radius, exactly like Doomfist's Hold, telling you, okay, you're going to land here, you're going to do a lot of damage here, and then around that place going to be a small area of leftover damages. Okay, it's not going to be, of course, as big as Doomfist, it's going to be really, really small, because it's not an old, it's just a normal ability, but doing that, allowing the players to see where they're going to land, and the damage spread they're going to have, is going to make this ability a lot more useful, and have players look at Eamon in a different way, in a way that, okay, I can actually point and precise my attacks instead of being completely chaotic. Also, another change I will do to the rolling all ability is not really a change, more than an add-on, that when you roll around your enemies and you press control, Eamon tries to bash them a little bit with an arm or something that takes a little bit of damage of them and pushes them away. That's why I want a cooldown of like 10 seconds because it needs to be a huge cooldown or else you just go around without top speed pushing enemies away. I think this would make the rollout ability seem a lot more cooler than just let's get into a wall and roll around like an idiot. About the shields, there's not much to say. The shields are perfect as they are. They are maybe a little bit even too OP because Eamon can basically get 100 HP or close to it when he's near enemies. But that's fine, that's the point of a character. He's a character that rolls around, arrests enemies, makes them be aware of their environment instead of just being aware of the actual enemy team. And he has a lot of HP so he can do that. He can just go into the enemy team, do whatever damage he wants to do and come back without dying. So the shields are perfect. Don't change them in any way, just leave it how it is. About his ult. In a way, the ult is really good as it is. It's not a really game-changing ult that everyone's afraid of, just like Divas or Soldiers or McCree's or Anzos or Genji's. No, but it's a really effective ult in crowd controlling. It's a really effective ult in close-range teamfights. So I believe the ult should also stay as it is, except for one tiny detail. The mines are too far up from the ground, which makes them really easy to see from far away. So they become really easy to avoid if the enemies see them. What you need to do is push them a little bit back to the floor. They can even be floating a little bit in the air like they are right now, but have them be a lot closer to the floor so they are not easily spotted from far away and enemies can actually trip on them and just die just like they trip on Junkrat's mines or in Widowmaker's mines. That way, the ult's not just effective in crowd controlling and close range team fights, it's also effective in trying to trap enemies when they are starting their push. If the enemies are starting a push and you're defending a point and when they come around the corner or jump from a building or whatever they fell on the mines that they didn't see and they die and the entire enemy team has to restart their push because two of their heroes just died. So yeah, those are the changes I would make to Eamon to improve his win and pick rate. But tell me what you guys think. Do you agree with what I said? Do you don't agree? Do you think Eamon is perfect as it is? Do you think Eamon needs changes besides these ones that I made? Do you think Eamon needs changes but not these ones that I just shared? Share me your opinions, that's what this channel's about, me sharing my opinions about whatever, and then you guys commenting and discussing with me if they're stupid or not. I love discussing stuff with people, so please guys, do that with me. And while you're at it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, I upload a lot of video game stuff, I'm just starting it now, but it will come up in a few months, it's going to be really big, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be huge, at least in number of quality and number of videos going to grow, because I really like doing this. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, see you next time.